This is a lesson about calculating area. For the, uh, it is very important that you must remember that there are three figures for you to prescribe that you must know to calculate the area of. The rectangle, the triangle, and finally the circle. We are going to look at each of them in this lesson. But first of all, let me explain to you what is meant by the idea of area. When I talk about area, I'm talking about everything that we have here on the inside of the border. So if we think of how am I going to um, explain area, say for instance this is a room and I want to put a carpet on the floor of the room. This carpet is going to fold the whole floor. So when I'm working with this carpet, I'm working with the area of the floor. So let's start. First of all, we're going to need formulas when we are working with area. But you are lucky. All these formulas, formulae will always be given to you. Let us look at a rectangle which has a length of 10 meter and a breadth of 5 meter. The formula when I'm going to calculate the area of a rectangle is simply length times breadth. In other words, I take the length and I multiply it with the breadth. It is just important that you must check that the units must be the same. I cannot do the calculations if the units are not the same. Say the one is meter and the other one is centimeter. So if they are not the same, you will first have to do a conversion. But in this case, they are the same. It's 10 meter and 5 meter. So I'm simply going to substitute into the formula. And I'm going to have 10 meter for the length. And then in the place of the breadth, I'm going to substitute 5 meter. And I will end up having 10 times 5, 50. And now what is the unit? The unit, when I'm multiplying a meter by a meter, my unit is meter square. And I write it like that. So to calculate the area of the rectangle, I simply say length times breadth. Let us now look at the area of the triangle. If you are given a triangle and there is nowhere a perpendicular side in the triangle, then it is always possible to construct such a perpendicular line by simply just subtracting a line which makes an angle of 90 degrees. And it will be drawn onto any of the other sides. Now I'm referring to this as the base of the triangle. And please know that if I talk about the base, I'm talking about the whole side. To this one that I'm having here, I'm referring as the height of the triangle. If I'm going to calculate the area of a triangle, the formula that I'm going to use is half base times height. The symbol H is now used for height and the symbol B is used for base. Now say for instance I have a triangle and in the triangle the base is 20 centimeter and the height is 40 centimeter. What am I going to get for the area? I am simply going to substitute into the given formula. In other words, in the place of the base, or B, I'm going to write 20 centimeter. And in the place of the height, I can call it just H, I'm going to write 40 centimeter. Again, it's very important that this must be centimeter and this must be centimeter. If not, you must first make a conversion. If I work this out, it is a simple multiplication sum. You can use your calculator or you can simply say half of 20 is 10. 10 times 40 is 400. And the unit, since I'm having a centimeter and a centimeter, my unit is going to be centimeter times centimeter, which gives me centimeter square. 
So to calculate the, uh, the area of a triangle, I use the formula half base times height. Finally, how am I going to calculate the, form, uh, the area of a circle? Again, let us remember the terminology of as the uh, that we are using when we work with the circle. If that is the center of the circle, any line that I draw through the center of the circle will be giving me the diameter of the circle. I'm calling that the diameter. If I work with the one part of the diameter, I can call this one little part of the diameter, I can call it the radius. This other part of the diameter is then also a radius. Any line that I draw from the center to the circumference give me the radius. So what do you see? You see that the diameter is made up of two radii. The diameter is made up of two radii. I can simply say two times radius. Or what do I know if I have the radius? If I have one radius, then I see I must get half of the diameter, or I must simply divide the diameter by 2. Now, this is very important, because you must always check what were you given, the diameter or the radius. The formula that we use to calculate the area of a circle is pi times radius square. Here is no diameter formula. In this formula for area, I must have the radius. The value of pi is as always 3,14 or 3,142. You must please always look at the instructions. What does the instruction say? What it is that you are supposed to use for pi? Now let's say we are having a circle with a diameter of 10 millimeter. If we have a diameter of 10 millimeter, before I can work out the area of the circle, I must first go and get the radius. So if the diameter is 10 millimeter, the radius will be 10 millimeter divided by 2 and that is 5 millimeter. Okay, that's all that we need. The pi, we always know what is the value of pi, and that is 3,142. It will be given to you. You don't have to memorize it. It will be given to you, either at the question or at the instructions at the beginning of the question paper. If I take 3,142, and I multiply it then with radius square. The radius is 5 millimeter, but it is squared. So I must square the radius like so. In fact, it actually boils down to saying 5 millimeter times 5 millimeter. If you are working with a scientific calculator, it will maybe be easier to work in that way. Otherwise, if you are working with an ordinary calculator, you can do it simply like this. And if you do this calculation, what is the answer that we will be getting? I take the 3.142 and I multiply it by 5 and again by 5. My answer is 78,55. And what is the unit in this case? I've got millimeter and I've got millimeter. So millimeter times millimeter give me millimeter square. Again, it's very important to check that these two units are the same. If they are not the same, we must first make them the same. And therefore, we have to do a conversion first. So to summarize, finally, the circle. To get the area of the circle, I need the radius. If the radius is given, fine. It's, it is nice, but if the diameter is given, I must first divide by 2 to get the radius. 
The formula to calculate the area of the circle is pi radius squared. In other words, I must substitute the value of pi, which is 3,142, and I must substitute the radius. Working that out, I get my answer for the area. And that is the end of our lesson about area.